So when I'm working with guitar students, uh, ones who are really kind of ready to take their playing up to the next level, uh, a lot of them will recognize the need to learn the notes and the instrument. And a lot of them, once they learn bar chords, they kind of learn the value of learning the names of the notes on the sixth and fifth string. So on the sixth string, you have E, F, F sharp, or G flat, G, G sharp, or A flat, A, A sharp, or B flat, uh, B, and then C, C sharp, or D flat, D, D sharp, or E flat, and then E, and then after that, uh, the fretboard starts over again, so uh, and it's all the same notes that you had from the zero to the twelfth fret. So I think it's good to be able to learn the notes uh, both as sharp notes and as flat notes, because in different contexts, uh, sometimes it's useful to talk about the notes relative to their flat relationship. Other times, it's better to talk about them in their sharp relationships. A lot of times. If the key of the song uses sharps, then you want to talk about the notes using sharp relationships and uh, vice versa for flat notes, okay? Um, so then on the A string, you have A, B flat, or A sharp, B, C, C sharp or D flat, D, D sharp or E flat, E, F, F sharp or G flat, G, G sharp, or A flat and then A. So those notes are fairly easy to learn because they relate directly to the bar chords that you learn. G, A flat, A, or D, D sharp or E flat to E, G, G flat, or if I make it a minor, it's still G flat minor or F sharp minor, right? So that's often the most common first place um, that guitar players learn the notes of the instruments. And then the next step is often that if you learn the notes on the sixth string, then that means that you know the notes on the first string as well, okay? What I notice a lot of times is after a bit, a lot of guitar players have what I would call a blind spot between the seventh fret and the 12th fret that after a little while, they can find that they can know most of the notes down here in this part of the fretboard, but up here, and this was myself included, uh, for a long time, this fretboard area was just a blind spot. I would put my hands there and just have no idea what the notes were. Um, so that was what I was kind of hoping to help out with today. Now, um, I first encountered the idea from my teacher, William G. Levitt, or Bill Levitt, as I used to, as I, he, he wanted me to call him Bill. Um, so his philosophy was when you're learning the instrument and when you're learning the notes of the instrument, put your hand in the middle of the guitar and work from there. And his reasoning was that if your sort of default position for the guitar was in the middle, then everything else kind of feels closer where most uh, beginning methods have you starting down here. Now, if you're starting down here and you're thinking about learning the notes way up here, this seems like a million miles away, doesn't it? Okay, but if you start here in the middle, um, every other region of the instrument is gonna feel closer to that. So uh, what's a good way to start this? Well, let's start with all the notes at the 12th fret. So the notes of the 12th fret of the guitar are exactly the same as your open string notes. So those are easy. E, A, D, G, B, E. So the notes on the 11th fret are also easy because if you describe them as flat, then you just put the, the word flat at the end of each letter name. So E flat, A flat, uh, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. Okay? Now, since they're all flat notes, they can also all be described as sharp notes. So D sharp, G sharp, uh, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. Okay, which means that the 10th fret notes are all gonna be fairly easy too. D, G, C, F, A, D. Okay, now the ninth fret is gonna be all, let's describe them as flat notes. D flat, G flat, B, E, and then uh, uh, A flat, then D flat. And if I do them as sharp notes, uh, then that's gonna be C sharp, F sharp, B, E, G sharp, C sharp. Then the eighth fret is gonna be C, F, 
uh, B flat, E flat, G, C. And then seventh fret, B, E, uh, A, D, F sharp, and then B, okay? Or uh, B, E, A, D, G flat, and then B, okay? So the thing you wanna work on is being able to identify any note on the instrument both as a flat note or a sharp note or a natural note depending upon what it is. So what that does is that helps you sort of uh, find that relationship of the notes going up uh, across the strings this way in half steps and then across the fretboard this way in either fourths or thirds depending upon what strings you go you're going towards. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. If you're ready for next steps, maybe you may want to try my premium content video lesson site, John Fenn's Modern Electric Guitar Mastery Channel. For $10 a month, you get access to hundreds of lesson videos, as well as backing tracks, notation, and tablature. Here's a link to a seven-day free trial below. If you're interested in studying guitar with me privately, just send an email to john at johnfinn.com for more details. Stay tuned.